Hello everybody, I am Lisbeth and welcome to episode 75 of my Oxygen Include Let's Play series, which is pretty dang cool. Um, that's 75 whole episodes, and I'm very sorry in housekeeping um, for missing yesterday's episode. I... Uh, it, it's, it's been some time. It's been busy. Um, so... Uh, also, before we actually you know, get stuff done. I've actually got to run away and let them finish building everything um, before we come back. Stinkina's planet... Uh, sorry, I've just downloaded the most recent update, which is for Friday the 19th of November, um, because that's the date currently. Um, there's a few things that have changed that I've noticed. Um, we now get an, a notification about Radbolt Decay. Um, I just noticed that these have different icons, which I'll come back to in a second, but more importantly, there's, uh, oh yeah, there's new, there's new research. Guess what guys, there's new research. Aren't we happy? And oh boy. Um, so this will be fun. I'm very glad this has made its way here. Oh, and a new telescope. What happened to the old telescope? There it is. Interesting. Very interesting. So they've changed it. That's... I don't know how I feel about that, having that one there. I'd argue to swap these two around. Um, but yeah, we're going to get this all researched up as well, as well as this one, which means we're going to have to do our rad bolt um researchy bit again so yeah i'll be back in a little bit oh yeah that's right star map oh dang look at that look at that brand new asteroid shapes why have only those three changed this one's the same this one's also the same that's pretty dang cool I wonder if it's changed any of the generation of the rest of the asteroids. Probably not, right? Um, let's just quickly have a look at everyone else and how we're going. These are still too cold. And they're in chlorine, but they're also too cold. Um, we're pumping water out of here into here. And... Uh, that's disabled. We can activate that. And over here on Grisista. How are we doing? Very well. This is now built. Everything's all good and going. Um, we've just got to get this operating, which it is. Um, and once that's cleaned up, I'll be able to seal it off and put in some automation. Although I suppose it doesn't matter too much. But we are getting a bit more oxygen in here and that'll deal with all of this carbon dioxide, which is exactly what we want. So yeah, everything's going really, really well. Um, let's just quickly jump in here. Uh, yes. Actually, just all breathable gas. I can't remember exactly why I built that there. Did I have some gas sitting around on the floor? Maybe, who knows. It's a mystery. Alright, I'll be back in a little bit. Uh, whilst we've got a little bit um, of time waiting, let's just quickly look at the fluid sorting because I want to get this up and running properly and just get it done because these guys are sort of standing around and doing not a lot of anything um so if we can get them doing something that'll be really nice so we need to sort three different liquids I believe one two three four four liquids um so let's do that hey uh so I was looking at just a moment now Uh, I was looking at this here, and as a side note, Brothgar is the sort of person that looks exactly as his voice sounds, you know? Like, he's just... Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, so if we have a loop running with the... Uh, that's a gas filter thing, you know, a gas shutoff, a gas valve, um, that limits the amount of gas that can go through the pipe. 
um, the game will treat that like a liquid bridge and prioritize sending liquid through that. But of course, because it's limited, it is then forced through a loop like this over and over and over and over and over and all the excess gets sent out the side. So let's uh, jump back in and start sorting out this, you know, stuff. Um, so what we're actually going to want to do is run this and keep in mind we're only going to need to do this for a little while. I should probably just filter it, shouldn't I? No, this is more fun. Okay, so we want this to come out, and it's going to go this way, up here to there, right? Um, that means we get to snip this, and we get, actually, no, we'll leave it. Okay, so let's just do one at a time. We'll squish one up in the top here and see how it goes. So what we want to do, let's just... Oh, this will be easy. Okay. Okay two liquid bridges, we've got a one, two, three, and then it goes off to the side. Okay, so we get a bridge to there, bridge to there, and it gets a one, two, three, and then that goes out, right? So that's what it takes, and we'll send water out down here, back into the system. Because there is a teeny tiny bit of regular water, um, so we can just send it straight back in. Now, there's a small issue there with, um, you know, pumping water down here, but I think we can just do it this way. Because we want to get all of this out here. Um, sorry, my computer just went bling. Apparently not. All right. So we're going to need plumbing, liquid bridge, whoops, like that, um, and that's going to go out that way. So then we get our gas valve here, and that goes out that way. So then we get to put our liquid valve there there, and there, and this can go out here like this, and we're going to snip that right there. Now the really nice things about liquid valves, if we go to plumbing, they use no power. Um, we just need a duplicate to come down and set their amount, and they're all made out of cobalt. Very good. All right. Super, so that's something for them to do. I suppose I'll be back in a little while because I do have to keep an eye on my poor reactor. Uh, but that's my bad for misinterpreting what uh, the automation does. So yeah, I'll be back in a little while. Just bringing you back, I accidentally gave Hassan um, very bad radiation sickness. He threw up just before, that's what all this mopping is. Um, this is making quite a lot of radiation. It seems to be cumulative. Um, and they've definitely upped the radiation that comes from things. Ooh. Is there something up there? Look at that. We'll definitely have to go up there then. Um, Harold, could you please... That's all liquid carbon dioxide, isn't it? All right, he can get up to here, two up to there, there. Um, all right, he's going to get to there, to there. Well, he's going to get to there, and then we're going to go there, to there, to there. At the very least, that'll get him going. Um, yeah, but that was the whole update. Hassan is sick. Um, so I've actually locked them all inside the base just to make sure that everyone's safe and sound. A uh, little bit of a setback. I should probably just lock Hassan in. Yeah, I'll do that. All right.
just because I wanted to make sure that my duplicants were nice and safe, I have built a little apothecary and I've made Ashcan our uh, doctor. Um, that was kind of always my plan because like artistry and doctoring doesn't like do a lot. Let me just have a quick watch. Is she? Oh, she's down to zero. Um, okay. So let us, uh, alter our consumable options. And we will put it only on a few duplicates because there are some who need it more than others. Bubbles, Camille. I think for now that's okay. Um, and I have kind of locked them all out of here. But we're just about running out. We're doing much better. Yeah, I did have some gas. Just chilling. All right, let's uh, also go over here to Grisista. Oh, they've done all this. This is really, really good to see. Um, we'll have to focus on that shortly. But first things first, let's come back up here. And let's get some power in. How are we going to do this? Down this way? Like that, I think. That looks good to me. They'll be able to reach all of that. One, two, three, four. Yep. And they should reach that through the wall here. Um, let's snip that one. We'll have to do something about this. But for now, put that there. Very good. Okay. Um, that's right. We were gonna, uh, I've got to make them build this here first and then we can look at the doors and infinite gas storage, but things are going very well down here. Let's quickly queue up a second ladder. We can delete those. Sorry. I typically never use Facebook, but my brother just messaged me. Uh, okay, so we have actually come across a tiny little, just a, just a little issue. Um, Ellie's got radiation sickness. Uh, so let's come over here to Gross Sister. Space is very radiated when we're not at home. Oh, there's a shine bug. Child, that's not a good spot for you to be. Um, so we're getting quite a lot of rads from space. Um... I could actually view interior. Um, we're going to send her out. And what we're going to do is we're going to lock them both inside. Um, that'll just make sure that they don't affect, get affected by radiation. Move to right there. All right, let's get them out. One and two. Uh-oh. One minute. One. And stop. Alright, there we go. Uh, now everyone gets locked in, and let's see what's going on over here. Someone had radiation. I mean, someone's... They're all locked in, aren't they? No. Alright, let's find out who that was. Uh, there's no one up in here. Who's just come in? It's not Ashcan, is it? No. Zero rads. Zero, 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 zero. 12.1, that's low. Zero. 34. Okay, he's just gone down quite a lot. So yeah, the apothecary... These rad pills are really, really good. They reduce a hundred, uh, it's a hundred 
rides per cycle. We can check it out right here when it loads. Here we go. Uh, there it is. Uh oh, that was a mistake. Um, but let's keep going through our duplicates to see who's got a lot of radiation. 0 0.53000. Zero, zero. Right, they're all good and safe, so we're just gonna have to lock them in until this is run out. And we're down to less than four, three and a half kilos. So we're doing really, really, really well. Okie dokie. Okay, so we've got most of this all put in. Let us make sure that we've just got this going as we want it to. All of this is cycling. Very good. Um, it does mean that we will uh, hopefully get this power in quicker. Um, and then we can do all the rest. I still don't know why this is flipping. I think it's because the liquid shutoff is broken, but we'll get there. Um, and people are allowed through it. Uh, so let's just get something done whilst we're waiting. Do some thinking, because I've just about, that's coming out at negative 81, in at negative 94. We're down to 97. So we've got about 50, yeah, 50 degrees left to go. All right, let's head over to the other planet and have a look at, you know, stuff and things. The gold volcano is what I meant. We've got the enclosed telescope, which is the same old. Yep, that's the thing. Now, I don't know you, but I don't think that ought to be... Uh, sorry. So, two things about the space scanner. It should not be in automation. Um, it should be in rocketry now that rocketry is a category like it is. Uh, secondly, it should require more than 25 kilograms of steel, especially for such a big model. Alright, let's see what we can do about this power as well, by the way. We can make it a cobalt, that's exactly what we want. That's better. Um, and that's fine for now, but let's... Oh, we don't have enough cobalt, really. Sounds like a lie to me, but let's just get ourselves a little bit sorted here. And those four tiles right there. Okay. Now, Ellie isn't back home, so she can't do any more researching for us. But fortunately, Ren is able to do this sort of researching and the regular researching, which is nice. And we've got power permanently in here. Um, let's just make sure this is all going well. It's down to 12 degrees. It'll just take a little while. This is going well, we do need to get more salt water into it, which we were doing down here. Let's just make sure that all of this is, you know, I'll take that. I'll accept that one. Um, and we'll just snip that and we'll... Wrong button. There we go. Get that sorted out. I don't know if they can get down there. They should be able to reach it. But they cannot. Is it because of this? Yeah, that's a drop of three there. Let's do that. Alright, uh, I was going to do the gold volcano. Um, I think it'll just be very similar to what we've already got. Wrong place. How much? Oh, something got eaten. That's producing a lot more radiation now, isn't it? Slow. Out, out, out. 1431. Yeah, that's definitely more than before. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a fair bit. Okay, gold. Focus. 
do the job. Where is it? Over here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so we get to put... Yeah, let's not make them of steel. So we're going to need a bunch more cobalt is what we're going to need. Because um, we do need the steel for stuff and things. Um, now we do have the option of just using regular old gold, you know. Can I make gold? How much gold amalgam do I have? Gold. 1.3 ton. Ah, uh, hmm. Not enough is the answer. Is there another close-ish swamp I can pinch a little bit from? No. How about... There we go. Oh, and look, all of these are done. Okay, so... There we go. Snippy, snippy. We're going to put this down to like, what, 10, 100 grams a second. And a liquid vent. Let's get that emptied out. So we'll get all this up and running, hopefully, soon. Let's do that for now. Uh, I thought I told you not to do that one. There we go. Uh, everything's going okay. Yep, that's fine. Dug up a little more of the map. This is a nice square weird border there. And we know about the satellite, of course. We'll have to figure out what's up here. Uh, but first... Are we doing better down here? In at 94, out at 82. Negative 97. We're so close. Okay, let's do what we can on Ghost Sister. At the very least, we want to lay everything out. Alright, so we're going to want... That's where our thermo aqua tuna can sit, is right there. Actually, let's make this one wider so it can have the wall. So our thermo aqua tuna sits here, and then our wall comes up here with a lid. And something like that. Now we're going to want. In a minute. Um, our liquid lock goes here like this. Yep. And then we get, let's see, shipping. Conveyor rails. So we're going to have, let's set our loader up first. Uh, auto sweeper, actually. Auto sweeper. Conveyor loader. I don't have enough refined metal. Um, but we can put it over here, I think. So that means we get to do something along the lines of... What do we have a lot of? Not a lot right now, so let's just figure it out. So it's going to come out of here. That's not the hot tile. Whoop. Now we get to snake our way like that, and then that can be a bridge like so. And then 
it can output well we're going to need a um thing you know a shut off so it can go out that way no it cannot now it can not enough metal ore okay so that's gonna have to rotate go that way inputs right here into that one no into this one this is an optional exit which is under shipping for a conveyor shut off but we need metal metal so we're going to need more steel so what we will do is build it on build the steel we need on stinkina here and that will get sent through here it's a bit of carbon dioxide that's fine we're going to open this door and we're also going to i shouldn't have removed this conveyor receptacle but them's the gigs um let's uh not do that ladders one two three four they can't reach this top one so they can have something like that all right they're going again how are you locked out there All right, let's get these guys back into safety. Travaldo has found his bed. That's why he's standing up again, even though he's supposed to be sleeping. There goes Ellie and there goes Travaldo. All right, let's get him out of here. Uh, poor Ad is pretty stressed, yeah. All right, locked out. And this is going poorly. Um, we're stuck because like we need more room to make more oxygen, but then we need like more water space. Um, plumbing. Something like that. Uh oh, we need a metal ore. digging we need a lot more cobalt all right come on you guys let's make it go a little more speedy uh oh they got back in there guys can you not we just have to keep an eye on them for a second but geez i'm about to Strangle them. I'll have to find a way to keep him out a little better. Let's cancel that deconstruct for now as well. Just give it a second. Uh, let's also organize our kitchen and dining rooms whilst we're here. Um, so room wise we have a washroom. We're going to have two bedrooms here. This is miscellaneous. It doesn't matter. Um, I was going to have like maybe the kitchen up here. And I could have a great hall using this space. That's 16, 18, 24. I need 32. So then I can use, I can pinch like. 24 that's 30 and then 32 okay let's have a look at what is counted as industrial machinery that is industrial machinery so what i can do is put a pneumatic door right there but i don't want to make it out of gold amalgam i'd much rather make it out of cobalt um does this count as industrial machinery yes this one does as does this i think no, this one does not. 
so I've got the option of removing this tile, shifting this over one. No, that wouldn't work. We'll figure it out. Um, the bottle emptier will probably have to go as it is. And I think that's okay. We'll just use this bottle, op uh, bottle emptier here. And that'll all work out fine. All right, super. Back home, how are they building? Slowly, because I've had it paused for a while. Um, pipe blocked. That's very bad, not good. Um, so what I can actually do is snip that. And that'll be good. Once again, I would love for uh, these temp shift plates to be on their own separate layer so I can see what's behind other buildings. Uh, but let's check out our automation because I actually need to change all of this. So these can go. Um, this doesn't work how I thought it did. That can go like that. That goes, these ones go, these ones go, these ones, these ones, these ones, all of that. Um, what we're going to ultimately make this is a, let's not deconstruct those and do these ones. Um, yep, something like that. And these nice um so we're going to replace it with a radiation sensor so material will only be put in when there is no radiation in the air or when there's less than a certain amount you know uh that'll definitely help out All right, very nice. And unfortunately, I do have a little bit less time than I wanted. Um, but unfortunately, now that we are post pandemic, for the most part where I live, um, my regular duties are sort of taking over my life again, uh, which doesn't bother me too much. It just means that things are going to be a little bit awkward for playing. Hmm. Well, we can sort that out when we're done loading. There we go. Okay. How are we doing here? We don't have enough for these power cables. Does that mean we need more cobalt? Yeah, we absolutely do. How are we doing down here? Waiting for more. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh no. The plug slugs are eating the cobalt. What do I do about that? Let's see what we've got to print first. Eight Paku. If I drop them here, they won't end up anywhere safe. Let's take them home. Nice. All right. Uh, let's also go back to Grey Sister because uh, I need to do oxygen for this. Uh, although I suppose we need this in. Um. Let's just quickly, I would love to at least see it, come on. Um, that means I'm going to have to go home and look at another door. Where am I storing gas infinitely? Here. So on this side, nope, okay, uh, print screen. 
to there. All right, I have just very quickly print screens that. Let's go back to Grow Sister because we do at the very least want to get this up and running. Um, so this is going to have to go off two cycles naturally, but we get to go for four doors, then automation what, ribbon. Um, we don't have enough metal for this. What a problem. Is that not his priority? Huh, apparently no. But what can you do? Ah oh, yeah, things are a little bit uncomfortable for them down here though, aren't they? Balup. Alright, home. I see. This thing is working so well. Like, you want a stress test? This, this contraption works amazingly. Yes, my thermo aqua tuner is steel, but that could be gold, that thing. Um, this is working really, really well. Hassan is, yep. Doing his thing. Uh, how's the thing going? Because I really, really, really want this going. 94 and 82, same as before. It has not been that long, I must say. Okay. Um, we're going to need new ladders, I suppose. So we want this one here to be on an AND gate with this toggle switch, and that's like the whole shebang. Because, um, like, I'm always going to know when I need more radiation, right? This isn't something that I can really automate at this point. Um, so we're just going to have the, you know, they've got to destroy everything first. Oh man. Sweepy time. Uh, wait, mop. There we go. No one's thrown up in their bedrooms. That's when you can usually tell. Everyone can get out as well. Just make sure. Travaldo's locked in, but he's not on the planet. Look, they've got sleep weight, so we're going to have to really buckle down and get the kitchen. Okay, let's focus on this down here as well, and we'll get the plans all sorted. Uh, and then, how are we doing this? 22 minutes plus however much I've recorded already. Oh boy. What if I go for a... Uh-oh. Where's that plug slug? Where is that slug? Did he die? Nope, he's up here. That's fine. Okay, I need... Food. Why are these 400 kilos? Like, there's some really weird weights for certain things. This needs power now. I'm glad they've changed that. That definitely should need power to operate. And do we have everything? Not quite, so we can't destroy it yet. All good, all good, all good. Alright, we have a bit more cobalt. Can we? Not yet. I just want some cobalt. This is going really well though. We just have to... What do we do about this water bit, you know? All of this water pipe blocked and all that jazz. I should be able to send out through some out through here as soon as this, although that doesn't matter so much anymore, does it? I think we've got enough water in the system. 
to do exactly what we want with all of this. That'll get that done. This is all going all right, super. And we've gotten all of this up here done as well. So we actually get to, nope, don't deconstruct it. We just want to close. And this can go here. That can go there and then they can cut across. That doesn't matter. And in a way, neither do these ones up here because they're all just going to fall anyway. Once it's... There we are. There we go. These things don't need digging out because they will get dug out automatically. Let's come down here. Nothing to unbury. There we go. Nice, 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 nice. It sure would be nice if some people did some things. Um, I think we can deliver like three or four suits. Because there's not many people out underneath the base. Uh, so we can deliver, well, we can make like four. Nice. Let's double check this. 7.3 is just kind of slow. But well, we are down to negatives down this end. So these should start growing sooner rather than later. Okay. Back to Gris Sister. How are they doing? We do have more metal. That's what we want. Those are the things you want to see. Let's leave this payload open for a second. Um, that also means that we have a pneumatic door to go under here. Does this count as industrial machinery? As I say, it better not. We could put a door here. And a tile. Oh, we don't have enough metal ore. Sure. There we go. That can go there. Then we also get our food. Never mind. Uh, we also get plumbing and no liquid vent. Okay. Well, more waiting, I suppose. These are all going to have to go. We're going to deconstruct all of them. Do we have... How much steel do we have here? Like on the planet, sorry. 440 kilos. Okay, so we can probably make these... We can make two of them out of steel. So we're going to subtract the water and the petrol out of the first two. Um, and that'll free us up to add polluted water later on. That can go there, out of steel. When they come and do it, don't you guys worry. Whoa. Hey, Harold, what's going on? Huh. Well, that's really, really good. And he's getting a little bit of radiation, but not a huge amount. They've really upped the ante on the radiation. It was, like, it was in need of rebalancing. This is all a bit... Uh, it was quite easy to manage. But now we're good. 
That's gonna have to go there. All right. Um, look, I'm not gonna stop those voles. Have they built anything important? Not yet. Construction five. Uh, they actually cannot reach that. And that's also more important. They'll get all this stuff up here done first. That's what they've been building is all these radiant light pipes. But we'll get that in just a second. There we go. We will have to figure out what to do about these red bolts. The answer is I don't know. Um, they should not melt at such a low temperature. That's my humble opinion. Loading. <laughs> there we go, my poor computer. Excuse me, Harold? Alright, Harold, how you doing? He's okay. We just have to wait for someone to come and get him. Stinky, here he is. No, Stinky. Oh, great, it's Lyra. There's Ashcan. Maybe Ashcan's gonna dig something. There we go. Don't know what we're worried about. Let's just drop everything down on this rocket. And then we get to close the doors again. Uh, back to Grocer Sister. Now let's sort out as well. We need some ventilation. Well, that's already sorted actually. So how are we going to uh, plumbing? First, really, you all can't dig up some. Oh, did these slug plugs eat at all? I'm going to be so mad if they did. Uh, let's go and allow someone to, you know, attack stuff. So at the very least we can keep a control of what resources we have, you know. That can get dug up. Those can... Uh, we've got some plug slugs in here, but I highly doubt we're going to use them. Oh, we were digging stuff up down here. That's fine. Do we straight up have no more cobalt? I think so. Yep, nothing. Just waiting. You'd think I would be, you know, organized by now, but apparently not. We're doing well on the animals and morbs, etc. And food. Okay. And they're just building some stuff and things. Uh-oh. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm straight up going to snip that power. That's a little bit of radiation, you know. How much does this have in it? No! Nah, I'm... Nah, I'm not dealing with that. No way. That's like three hours worth of waiting. And I straight up do not have the time for that. Um, you know what? I'm going to call it here. I'm going to actually roll back to before they deconstructed these uh, automation wires. Um, and that's going to be it. So hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, there will definitely not, will not be an episode tomorrow. Um, I, I don't have time, unfortunately. I'm going to be, yeah, I, I've got some very important things and schedules and bookings and stuff that I am beholden to. And unfortunately, 
they take priority. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Uh, take care, everyone. Bye.